Hey everybody, it's Jay Bear with another Jay Today, where I give you a piece of my mind three minutes at a time. I discovered today that the TSA, the Transportation Security Administration, has launched a new crowdsourcing program. Using the platform Innocentive, the TSA is hoping to discover some ideas of how to make airport lines shorter. Well, as some of you may know, one of the ways they're trying to make airport lines shorter is by using the TSA pre-system, where you can be opted in after doing a background check to be able to get into the fast line, where you don't, not, uh, you don't need to take off your shoes or check your liquids or take your laptop out of your bag, take off your coat, etc. Well, it turns out, after I did a little reading, that this crowdsourcing program is not to make lines shorter, it's to redo the TSA pre-line because the TSA is hoping that everybody signs up for TSA Pre, either because their airline loyalty program puts it in it or they pay the 75 bucks to get in the TSA Pre program for the year. This angers me as a frequent business traveler. I'm actually home this week. I will be on the road for parts of the next 15 weeks in a row. I know a little something about the TSA and the TSA pre-line. And look, I love crowdsourcing. I think crowdsourcing is a remarkable opportunity. But I wonder, what do they have at the TSA? 300,000 employees? 200,000? 100,000? It's, it's many thousands of employees. Nobody there working for the TSA can figure out how to make the line shorter when essentially all they do is manage the line every day at airports all around the country. That's beyond on their capability to come up with an idea. They have to award $5,000 or $15,000, whatever it is, to people to come up with a line idea. And I'll tell you how they could have fixed this problem. Maybe they should not have called it TSA Pre, which doesn't make any sense at all. It's also a logo that's a green check mark. Thanks, that's very illustrative. That really helps us understand what this is all about. You're constantly in the TSA Pre line now, behind somebody who, God loves them, is 83 years old and somehow mysteriously and magically got opted into TSA Pre as a trial by their airline, and now they don't know what to do, and the TSA Pre line is super slow now, slower than the regular line. The whole thing is a complete and utter disaster. What the TSA needs is not a crowdsourcing idea, but somebody who knows something about marketing, something about operations, and something about customer service. You know how you can make the line shorter? Here's how you make the line shorter. Maybe you pass a law or a rule or a policy or a guideline that says, hey, maybe you TSA folks shouldn't be standing around talking about what happened last night. Half the time I go through these lines, it sounds like a middle school locker room. And I travel a fair amount internationally. You don't see that in other countries. The security people in France or Canada or Britain or Australia are not chatting it up. Aha, uh -huh, did you see what Gina did last night? What is going on? This is absolutely unbelievable. I hope they come up with the greatest idea ever. I hope it's levitation or some kind of crazy Star Trek tractor beam system that puts people at the front of the line who travel all the time. But I got to tell you, TSA, you got problems that absolutely transcend what the crowd can help you with. Today's Sprout Social shout-out is for my friend Jason Miller. Jason is the Senior Manager of Content Marketing at LinkedIn. Terrific guy. He's also a very well-known photographer for rock and roll shows. He goes to lots of concerts and, and photographs the bands. He's very, very talented on Twitter. He's a Jason Miller CA. Great guy. Really smart. You should absolutely be following him in the social media. This podcast is brought to you by the folks at Sprout Social. Terrific social media management platform. It's what I use for my own social media, both here and on the road when I'm dealing with the TSA. And this podcast is brought to you by Candidio, a video editing service. It's super easy. I just shoot these videos on my iPhone. I upload them to the Candidio dashboard. They do the rest. They make them look beautiful. They can do the same for you. Thanks so much. I'm Jay Bear. This has been Jay Today. I will talk to you tomorrow. Hey, I'm Jay Bear. I want to introduce you to my brand new show, Jay Today, where I will be talking about social media and business on an almost daily basis. Real quick videos, very easy, snackable, bite size, as they say. You can get it on YouTube. You can get it on iTunes. You can get it on Stitcher. You can get some great ideas right here. Want to subscribe? I think you do. All you got to do is click one of these buttons. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow.